Marin, and what's your name? Yen Sha. Yen Sha. So, we're here at the Tibetan restaurant, and we're on the third floor. So these are potato dumplings? Mm -hmm. So, we're having some, this is yak tea, yak butter tea. Actually, it tastes really disgusting at first, but once you get used to it, it tastes really good. I'm probably allergic to it, but it's so good I'm yeah. drinking it anyway. And this is uh, lamb, lamb ribs, and baked potato. <laughs> I don't know, she's such an American, she has to have her potatoes. It's not baked potato, it's spicy potatoes. Spicy potatoes. And this is um, beef, like, dumpling shenanigans. I insisted. So she insists on ordering these things. I get my way. I'm an only child in America. Oh, I want my things. I'm American. I want what I want and I'll get what I want. Exactly. And so, this is not cheap. Look at it. This is not cheap. It's about, that's about 100 something yuan right here, which is fairly expensive. We still have a yak pie coming. Mm -hmm. We still have a big yak pie coming. Which I'm going to eat ours. Mm -hmm. Like a very large yak pie. So this food is not cheap, but also on the other side it's very filling. It's very hearty food. Um, we have a big yak pie coming. Uh, not sure when it's coming. Uh, the server's over here. Servers. <laughs> and there's a bar. Every I actually know this place because people tell me it's good and also because I was walking down the road and there's a, there was this really pretty Tibetan girl singing on the street and I instantly fell in love with her, totally. I'm just gonna go hit on her like right after I make this video. Yeah, I don't know how much luck he'll have doing that, but he did find out her name. Yeah, and her name's Lamu. Her, her name's Her name's Lamu and she sings really well. I'm gonna move to Tibet and then open my own little restaurant with her. <laughs> A little like countryside cottage restaurant. Oh yeah? You think that wouldn't happen? I'm having a ah, lamb kebab! Oh no! Oh no! Almost dropped it, Ca caught it with my leg. Good job, good job. But now my legs are greasy. I really need to wash this pants. It's like beer spill. Butter spill, milk spill. Mm, I'm like really now like lamb grease all over. Looks like the dirtiest pants I ever have. Really good. It's raining and thundering outside, as you can hear. Thunder roaring. I've never seen anything like this. Like literally. Uh, well, I've seen worse in Canada. It rains like this in Canada, but like nowhere else in. Nowhere else I've seen this. Not in Colorado, mm. where I'm from. Yeah, Marin. It's from Colorado. Desert there. Yes. So this is a little scary for me. It's... You, you ignorant American. <laughs> but I'm pretty much just happy because I got my way. Mm -hmm. We made it to the restaurant. We're eating lots of delicious food. He's just eating. He not even talking. Not even talking. He's just eating. He's very content. Mm hmm. Yak butter tea. Yak butter tea. Disgusting, but great. I don't know how much, how much um, batteries I have left. I hope I can show you guys the uh, pie, yak pie, before it you know, runs out of battery. These guys, they're eating like without me. Yeah, I'm basically just making sure I get a lot of food on my plate because I've noticed that you eat quicker than me and so I get left behind and then there's no food left for me. Which happens to me a lot because I'm a slow eater, but I really like to eat a lot. But every time I'm making these meal videos, I just like film and everybody else is like finish eating. That's what you get. I mean, I could try and like feed you while you're doing it, but... Oh, you were filming. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. I'm putting this down. Yeah, this isn't... It doesn't need to be a 15 minute long video. Oh, you can just put it there. For tripod. Yeah, I know. No, you must eat ladylike. With a camera, really? Mm -hmm. I think it's more interesting than my own. Alright, eat very unladylike. 
You like it's it? Very, it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. That potato is so good. You know, you really need a two little hot chip on it. Mary's mayonnaise is scary amazing, like scary good. No, it's not. I don't understand why. Why is that? I don't think it's that good. It's really tough. As long as I stay on the topics of food, I'm okay. I'm gonna make another video later, like where I interview Marin about like her like secret life as an FBI spy. That's my future secret life. Sure. Actually, my plan is really to take over the world. Oh. I think I'd be a good world leader, dictator. I need my friend Chelsea to help me do that. Our plan was to uh, put all the really obese people in America in mm -hmm. contagion camps. I, I, I just grind them out for food. We're gonna make kinetic energy on um, sort of like fat people. Well, yeah, we're just gonna make them like run on treadmills all day until they get skinny, and we won't feed them. And they're gonna like power our organization basically with their free labor. And it'll be good for them too in the long run. I just like grind up all people for food. That's what it's good for. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm gonna try and like bring world peace to the world. But like most dictators, take the process while I'm probably gonna fire like throughout the other just want world power. It'll just be I'm surprised that this uh, video is still running. I, yeah. I was expecting to run out of battery. For me really uh, healthy people. I'm trying to make it make it happen for a conversation here. We did pretty much nothing today, but actually we had kanji earlier, we went to the Cantonese place mm -hmm. and uh, we went to Antiques Market, which I really love. I, it's like the third time I've been to the Antiques Market. Um, yeah, he showed me the video of the Antiques Market before we even went, so... Oh! Speaking of which, I bought your Buddha head, Michael. <laughs> Michael, if you're watching this. Michael, I bought you a Buddha head right here. A Buddha head for like um, 50 way, yuan. Way more 50 yuan. It's a lot of like, I expect these are to be, this to be like 15, 20 yuan, but I bought it for 50 anyways. That's for you, Michael. What a good friend. So, shout out to Michael. Michael's the guy who's been uploading these things for me. He's the guy who's been uploading the videos. I just, so, you know. Thanks, big, big thanks to Michael for everything that, you know. Wait, let me get this straight. Huh? Michael's helping you. Mm -hmm, yeah. With the technological part. No, no. I, I mail, I send these videos to him and he uploaded it because I can't upload it in China. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's some really good lamb. It's really good. I'm glad we got this instead of the other thing that you wanted to get. But, I don't know, I'm pretty good with just lamb lamb. Did you really just listen to me more when it comes to order? No, the lamb was, the other lamb we ordered was just like a lot more lamb and for 10 yuan cheaper. No, it was just a lot more bone. Than what it was. No, this had more bone. It's the same, same piece, the same piece of lamb, it's just cooked differently and with more vegetables. Yeah, delicious vegetables, really good for you. I don't like vegetables. Vegetables are useless. You're a vegetable hater. I think we need to get Yet yeah, Tim star on this a little bit. I think she has, her English is pretty good. I can tell. Yes, yes. How more? I really like these potato dumplings. Since I can't exactly go to Tibet, so I'm having a little piece of Tibet right here. I think we'll have more pieces of Tibet if we go to Dharma's No, you can get it. I like 
Wait, it's mostly fat. You actually eat the fat, don't you? Yeah. I do. Yum yum, all mine. All fat. Mm, I'll that? diet tomorrow. Yeah, right. Mm, tomorrow, gonna... tomorrow we're going to yoga class. Yeah, so you don't have to really feel too about it. Yeah, I've been taking up yoga. Yeah. But I'm not gonna make a video of me doing yoga. I'm gonna like, make a video of you doing yoga. That would be like the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen in my life. It would be like a stain. Not not my stain, like a stain upon humanity. Mm, yeah, not so much your family. That would be pretty upset. It would totally counteract all of the. They would like disown me, yeah. literally. Oh, here comes my giant pie. Oh my god. So good. Holy shit. Here is, yeah, this is our large pie. Like a very, very large pie. That thing is huge. Look at it. Look at it. It's huge. Meat, all meat. Which one I'm gonna Yeah, you have to finish all of it. Oh, you can't go along. We could just sit here until the rain stops. Yeah. We're not going anyway anyway, so we're just gonna sit here and wait until the rain stops. Yeah. Which is probably gonna make us look weird. And bloated. Yeah. Especially because I'm lactose intolerant. I think the first time they probably end up like I don't know, you're gonna be hugging you're gonna be hugging the toilet all night, aren't you? I don't really care. It's really good. Just making sure that these vegetables are eaten. Seriously though, that's a really big pie. We're not going to call that. But I wonder, I wonder if this is actually like traditional Tibetan dish, like because yeah, it's probably yeah, really yeah, because like I don't think they have like pie crust in traditional Tibetan dish. No, I don't think they do. Because that bread is that bread that they sell is basically the same thing. I mean, this isn't like our kind of pie crust. Take your time, take your time. Take your time, but don't lose stamina. It's all about birds. Yeah. Oh. Yak pie. So, so dice up yak me with um, onion. Which is not a traditional Tibetan plant. They don't have onion in Tibet. Ooh. No, traditionally, no. Onion, it's called yang chong. Yang chong is from Western. Yang is Western, right? Because Western onion, Western onion. So, onion is a Western kind of thing. It's a European plant, I believe. At least Middle Eastern. So it's not a traditional Tibetan or Chinese plant. Onions have to be one of the easiest things to grow there, though. Mm. Like, you have them everywhere at this point. Very good. I realized something that I should stop like filming my own face. I should film other people's face because I'm like fat and not good on camera. I just found somebody who looks good on camera, right? Then. I try, but you know, when I'm like stuffing my face, you should eat more ladylike. I can't. It's not in my blood to do so. I'm Italian. I eat with my hands. I'm eating this like a pizza right now. All right, maybe got one minute. Say shout out to some of your friends. <laughs> Hello to Colorado. <laughs> Boulder, Colorado. Rainy, we're, rainy Chengdu. It's like where South Park is. Uh -huh. Literally, it's like the real life South Park. Actually, South Park is a real place. Really? South Park is no, a real place. No, it's a real place. Is it really? It's a mountain town about an hour away from where I live. It is. It's like population 1,000. And when you go down there, a lot of people go down there just to be like, ha, this is where South Park was filmed. And the people get really sick of it. They're like, oh, god damn it. Why? Why did our town have to get to choose that show? Seriously, if, if South Park is like a Chinese town, then they'll be selling t-shirts and also on their bread. And so all those are memorabilia. Yeah. They would never give up this opportunity. Oh, I know. But that's not how they're even living. Well, who's that one Chinese guy living inside? Uh, running out of battery. Running out of battery. Say goodbye. Bye. Later. Bye.